My name is Megan Meyer. I'm an assistant professor in the psychological and brain sciences department here at Dartmouth. A lot of the experiments going on in my lab, uh, we use brain imaging methods. So we're looking for what parts of the brain are associated with different kinds of thinking. And the kind of thinking we study is how we think about what other people are thinking and feeling, as well as how we understand our own thoughts about ourselves. The method we use in my lab is uh, predominantly fMRI, so it's a lot like getting an MRI of your brain. Instead of just looking at brain structure, we're also looking for what regions of the brain are getting the most oxygen uh, during different cognitive tasks. Almost all of the work in my lab is focused on basic science questions, so just how does the brain do X, and X is usually thinking about other people or thinking about ourselves. Our hope and our goal is that we're figuring out these really basic processes across humans and in healthy populations so that then other researchers can take our findings and figure out, you know, how do they apply or what do they look like in other clinical populations who may struggle with some of these things. And a lot of clinical populations struggle with um, connecting with other people or feeling confident about themselves. So there's definitely a lot of applications for what we're doing. I think the small size of Dartmouth is really beneficial for the graduate students because it means that whenever they might need help with something, the professors are more accessible. You know, we're all in the same building, our labs are all nearby each other, and so it's really easy to get hands-on training um, from really great researchers. I'm in the Dartmouth Social Neuroscience Lab that is directed by Megan Meyer. Most of the work that we do is looking at the ways in which the brain learns about our social worlds. I find social interaction to be one of, if not the most meaningful parts of our existence and our human experience and so um, I think it's worth exploring the ways in which the, the brain and mind might facilitate those kinds of meaningful connections across people. One of the cool things about Dartmouth and the Psych and Brain Sciences Department is that we have an MRI scanner right here in the building and I think that that's pretty rare that I can sit in my second floor lab and do whatever data analysis I need to do, run a new behavioral subjects, and then just go down a couple flights of stairs and walk into the Dartmouth Brain Imaging Center.